This is five tips for The Surge. The Surge is an open world sci-fi game that seems largely influenced by the Dark Souls genre. You play as Warren, a man physically enhanced with a cyborg-like exoskeleton. Your first day on the job is a rough one. Upon waking from a rather harsh procedure, you find that everything around you is in shreds, and you're now forced to take on countless enemies to find out what happened. Luckily, we have five tips to help you survive this harsh mechanical world. Tip number one, know the mechanics. The Surge has some unique combat elements. The first feature of note in the game is your finishers. When battling an enemy, you can target them by pushing in the right thumbstick. Once targeted, you can use the right thumbstick to select a body part. Side note, you typically want to target a part that isn't armored to do the most damage. A lot of time, that's the head. When your energy gets high enough from attacks, you can perform a finisher to cut off the body part you're locked onto. This performs a rad animation of you slaughtering the enemy. It's also really gross. Second side note, slaughter one of each limb for an easy achievement. Achievement hunting. By slicing off specific limbs, you can get weapon or equipment drops, including crafting pieces and bonus scrap. Third note, when in a finisher animation, press the start button. This will activate a cinematic camera mode in which you can get some amazing shots for sharing later. Or just twirl the camera around and view your takedown in all its glory. Tip number two, crafting and upgrading. Crafting supplies are needed for each piece of equipment. These can be kind of hard to get if you don't know what you're doing. To get specific scrap, you want to target the specific body part of the enemy to have the best chance for it to drop. If you're looking for force regulators, target the arms and so on. The gear assembly machine will tell you what parts are needed to craft or upgrade your equipment. So use that knowledge next time you come across an enemy. Plan what parts you need in advance. Happy kill scavenging. Also, when changing up gear sets, be sure to stick with one type of armor set. It may seem ideal to mix and match, but each armor set has an ability bonus for wearing the full set. And be sure to bank your scrap, because if you die, you drop all of it and then you have to run back to recover it. Luckily, that's another achievement. Oh, and did I mention all the enemies respawn? Tip number three, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Enemies can take you out swiftly in the surge. Two or three hits and you're gone. Acting like a crazy madman swinging wildly with bolts literally screwed into your skin and electricity coursing through your veins could be your downfall. However, knowing when to stop and dodge is your way to survive this mechanical wasteland. Shocking, right? Get it? Shocking, like electricity? If you're not careful, enemies will take you out with ease. Using the left bumper at the right moments can block your enemy's attack and allow an opening for you to begin yours. If you're really slick, you can jump over low attacks or duck under high attacks by using the right thumbstick at the same time as blocking. If successful, you'll be able to hit the right bumper to perform a quick counterattack and stagger your enemy. If you want to quickly slide into combat, try running at an enemy and then attacking. This will send you sliding at the enemy and performing a quick hit to take them down. Also, helps you quickly close the distance between you and that enemy. Tip number four, the core values. Try to level your core up as much as possible. The core in the game acts as your level. There are some obstacles that can only be conquered by having a certain core level, such as doors and also people, which is real weird. Some implants also gain power dependent on your core value. So the higher your core value, the more efficient your implants will be. Side note, don't delete duplicate implants. Two of the same implant can actually stack. Have two vital injections, then equip them both. Now you have twice the health pots. Tip number five, as always, explore and loot. If you see a side path, take it and explore. Overall, you're gonna be in the same area several times in a row, so be on the lookout for doors or lifts to help you get back to your med bay. Throughout the surge, there are five mini bosses as well, and you may stumble across a few of those. If so, take them out. Kill all five and you get a special suit for it. I'll leave that for you to discover. The Surge is one of those games that you're gonna get frustrated at. You will die, multiple times, believe me. But that's okay. Once you do get past an area, you'll feel reinvigorated and ready to do it all over again. If you need a breather, just go back to an easier area and look how easy the enemies are to slaughter now. Maybe get someone in a cool finisher animation 
and use the cinematic cam to utterly humiliate them from all directions. You just got Carlos rised. The Surge is a very fun sci-fi action game with RPG elements, and those up for the challenge will feel right at home. Oh, and please watch your back.